Last time on Races to Places, Lyndon was preparing for the precarious Simpson Desert Crossing. The Simpson Desert is a large area of dry, red, sandy plain and dunes in Northern Territory, South Australia, and Queensland in Central Australia, an area comprising of 68,100 square miles makes it the world's largest sand dune desert. Dunes in this desert can vary from 3 metres to the largest dune being 40 metres. As you heard me say in the last episode, Lyndon was preparing for the crossing, and that word couldn't be more important, as if you haven't got the preparation right, the crossing a desert can be deadly. I uh, just want to thank these guys for being so hospitable last night. I'm going to head out over the Simpson. Hopefully I won't see them again. <laughs> because if I see them again it means I've got a problem this morning. Pleasure. 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 broken down in the Simpson Desert. I tell you what though, when it starts to die like that the bike, it's a frightening experience out here in the middle of nowhere because it could be anything. Thankfully, I think I know what it is. Let me show you. So the engine runs. Watch when I sit down. The engine stops. Now, if you remember all the time back to Rally Mongolia, I had a problem with a broken fuse and it was doing exactly the same. If I squeeze the fuse, there's a crack in the middle of it. All good. It's pretty funny, Mikey. My shadow and me having a pee. That's a pretty significant sign. Remote desert wilderness. So behind me is Pony Bar. The significance of this point it's 360 kilometers from here to Birdsville, all across the dunes. Uh, and this is the last place you can get water. So the next 360 kilometers, there is zero water. As this sign says, the desert is closed during extreme temperature times of the year, with yearly rainfall only being on average 150 millimeters, and temperatures reaching 50 degrees. Looks like it's time for Basil to have a drink. Get in. Repacking time. Lyndon will shuffle things around, keeping the weight low down on the bike and the empty fuel can on the top. McDonald's bag in, break glass in emergency. <laughs> McDonald's opening soon. The sense of humour of the desert travellers. I could eat a McDonald's right now. In 2008, I was lucky enough to cross the empty western quarter of the Sahara Desert with Lyndon on his infamous KTM 950 during the Salt and Gold project. The days were hard and the nights were cold. But the tranquility and freedom of riding in the desert is something I have never found 
anywhere else on our amazing planet. Visiting such places is a privilege and one which we should all try to experience at least once in our lives. Yeah, started out pretty well. Left uh, Delhousie Springs this morning about nine o'clock. First bit was quite open, nothing really special, just a graded road. And then eventually into whoops and sand and then some soft sand and then you sort of gradually see the red dunes building. So I'm only imagining that uh, they just get bigger and bigger the further I go um, west to east. morning from the middle of the Simpson desert excited for another day's riding breakfast awesomeness this morning oats and food Right, let's go. If everything goes to plan, this should be the last day crossing the Simpson. Should get to Birdsville today. Yeah, you don't want a low fender on, sure. Well, I just arrived here at Popel's Corner, and this is the, the corner of three states. So it's Queensland, South Australia, and Northern Territory. Basil's got a bit covered in sand, look. He's almost blocked off with sand. Foot feet are covered in mud. Basil's just covered in mud. Our luggage and everything's covered in mud. But we're here. Now it's time for some dunes. seen any camels but there's some camels footprints. Lyndon's right, there are camels in the Simpson Desert, but not so much free roaming ones as organised camel treks. Well since, since Basil decided to have a lie down here, I figured it was a good place to stop and have a Snickers. Never thought I'd get stuck in the Simpson Desert. Arrgh. Oh, look. 